Okay, so these are my favorite Disney female characters who are not official princesses or anything like that, but who I still think are amazing. And these are all in Disney. Um, number five on my list is Sidira from the Aladdin TV show. Now, Sidira was a TV show character, so she's probably not well known around the entire Disney community, but she had a crush on Aladdin. She was a street rat just like him, and she was voiced by the same girl who did Roxanne in the Goofy movie, the first one. And Sidira was very, really, like, in love with Aladdin, and she would come up with all these little schemes to, like, make him fall in love with her. But in her third episode, like, the first time she did, she created the Sand Beast who kidnapped Jasmine, but she didn't want to kill Jasmine. She doesn't hate Jasmine, she just wants Jasmine out of the way. Like, she's not a villainous, villainous, but she still has her ulterior motives. In the second episode with her, she created, um, she used the sands of time to go back and switch places with Jasmine and made Jasmine a street rat and made Sidera a princess. She was foiled ultimately because, suppose, because the animals were not were immune to the, were immune to the spell, and told Jasmine to about it, and brought her to the palace. And somehow Aladdin and Jasmine's love is so strong that it can go through magic, the usual stuff. In her third appearance, she made Aladdin believe that he was a dragon slayer, and she teamed up with Jasmine, and they both saved Aladdin. And in that episode, she realized that you know, Aladdin is with Jasmine, and she can find her own guy, and she becomes friends with Jasmine. And in her four, fourth and final opinion, we see, like, Sidera is very lonely, and she wants friends and someone to care about her. And she finally changes her ways, but as soon as, like, something happens and it points to, like, her direction, everyone turns on her. And, like, this is one of the things I always had a problem with Aladdin, like, in the TV show. As soon as something happens and you're not good, you're automatically the bad guy. And so, like, he, you know tried to stop Sidira, said that Sidira was lying, that she was trying to betray them and everything. And even with all of that, Sidira still protected them, risked her life, her life to save them, and protected them because they were her friends and she wanted, she didn't want to be alone, she wanted to be with her friends and she, I guess she could understand why they thought that way, and so she yeah. chose to protect them. And so, Sidira was just a very strong female character even though she only appeared for four episodes. She was really cool. Fourth on my list is Kida Kiadakash from um, Atlantis. She was just a cool character. I like her character design and she, I like that she was a warrior. She was a fighter. She kicked butt. I mean even in those few scenes where she like comes out of the water and she's like boom 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 boom. Like this was a tough girl. I, I know she wasn't made a princess because Atlantis wasn't that popular but I think that she was one of the more interesting non-Disney princesses. Unfortunately, she was not given that much of an appearance because of like, she, for like most of the movies, she was like in like a little magic crystal thingy. But from what we did see of her, she seemed like a really cool character. And she was really good in the sequel too. She's always been a warrior and very open-minded to change and wants to do what's best for her people. And so I like Kita. She kind of reminded me of Jasmine. Third on my list is Jane from Tarzan. Like, I initially loved Jane because she reminds me so much of Belle. Like, same kind of appearance, except the eye color is different and their personalities are slightly different, but they're both smart, both funny, both, like, different in their own way. Jane was so clumsy and weird. I love her whole scene where she's, like, getting chased by, like, the monkeys in the beginning gets saved by Tarzan and is like, I was thin of tree with a man who talks to monkeys. Like, she was just really a very cute, adorable character who I couldn't help but love. And I felt like at the end where she decided to leave and everything, she doesn't want to leave her, her father, her family. And I thought that was very logical of her. I mean, I can understand why she felt that way. But in the end, she got to live with Tarzan and be in the trees, in the jungle, and have, like, monkeys for friends. And I think that she found her place with him. I feel like she found a connection with someone who is different and because she's different I can see Jane being like kind of like the oddball because she's like all very you know eccentric and everything so I really liked her character she was weird and kooky. Number two is Megara but her friends call her Meg. This girl is like so awesome to me I don't know why they didn't make her a princess because she's just she's a goddess so no, even forget it she doesn't even need to be a princess she's a goddess. 
we finally had a female character who actually had like a guy before this whole situation and he screwed her over and she becomes very bitter due to that and you know she goes through a lot of changes in the movie she goes from being like a villain to a good person who really you know was afraid to give her heart to someone else who really needed a second chance at love and she got that with Hercules and slowly she realizes that he cares about her and she's falling in love again and I think her biggest change was when she decided to you know put her life on the line for Tarz Tarzan to put her life on the line for Hercules because she had convinced herself that men are no good, that men are rotten, and that all they will ever do is hurt you. And she put herself out there again to be hurt for him, and she risked her life for him. I mean, she's already given up so much for another guy who broke her heart, and now she finds someone else who she's willing to risk all of that again for. And I felt that was very powerful, and I felt like she was one of the most... She's one of the strongest female characters Disney has ever, has ever come up with. And number one on the top list is Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame. This chick is beyond awesome. Like, she's almost on par with me with, Be with Belle because she is so strong and powerful and passionate and tough. Like, her, every time she's in this movie, every scene that she's in, even when it's like her like in the fire, she captures you because she is not going to stand around and take crap from anyone. And she sees people for who they truly are. She doesn't judge you by like appearances or where you come from. It's who you are. And she knows. And you know, she she's kind and she's sweet. And her whole she has like one of the best songs ever written, "God Help the Outcast." Like that is a song that really shows a woman who knows the bigger picture in life. She knows that there's more just like beyond herself. She's actually thinking about other people. Which you know is different because usually you know the Disney girls like themselves and their prince. No, she thinks about everyone, her people, her other people, her um Hercules. Why do I keep saying Hercules? Um, Quasimodo, Phoebus. She cares about people, everyone, and she wants equality. She wants everyone to be seen for who they are and not what race they are or what they look like. She wants to see people on the inside, and I think Esmeralda is one of the best female Disney characters overall, not even just like a non-princess. And that is my top five favorite Disney non-princesses. And tomorrow I will do my top favorite non-Disney girls. And then I'll do a comparison between Melody and Ariel. Which one is better? We will find out tomorrow. Peace.